J K L N O P Q R S. Oh, my bad. I, I fall sometimes. I fall like into that, into that music. That boom, 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 I hate that shit. I hate. I hate that shit. A B C D E F G. Hold on, run that shit back, bro. JK, I'm in a... Why, why, why do you have to do it twice? It just sounded, it's just cool, like the beat, that boom, 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 it just sounds like a wrestling song. It, it really doesn't. If a wrestler comes out to that song, <laughs> he's done. <laughs> whack ass song. Bro, that shit is not whack, bro. That shit is... All right. <laughs> so I'm about to leave. Yo, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? What up, Joey <laughs> B? In the chat, who was first? <laughs> My man says Super Nintendo. Release the crack. Gary was Gary was so trash this during this game. Yeah, all the uh, the the whole catcher crew was ass. Yeah. Why all you them. being a dickhead fool? <laughs> Stop being a dickhead. All the G's were trash today. Word, <laughs> word. That whole G unit, even oh, G, G, G. The whole G Corey, unit. Corey Glover. Clubanada! <laughs> Clubanada! <laughs> I always thought that shit said Clubanada! What? Uh, <laughs> I say what? Uh, yo, what's going on? Clubanada! Yeah, what's good? He no, he said, let's not, oh, let's not repeat that. <laughs> yeah, like, Badass, we got to meet Courage. Yo, Courage is awesome, bro. I didn't know he was like as cool as he was, bro. He's, he's, he's awesome. Courage, courage, courage. Courage, the cowardly dog. Where I said that too. I said that same joke too. <laughs> same joke. Same exact joke. Did it? No, because I said, um, they said, "Yo, courage" or whatever it is, and then John Boy said, uh, "Oh man, can, um, can you imagine like the, the gamer named um, Coward?" And then I said, right. "About courage, the cowardly dog." It was silence too. I think for a ten second silence, I bet. No, the whole stadium was quiet. Everybody looked at me. They almost threw me out like that guy that ran on the field. Fucking idiot. Yo, there was, there was a guy that, doing that. There was a guy that ran on. The guy that ran on the field. He was like swinging on people, bro. Like, that like he was swinging. Like he was trying to swing on them. So there was a guy that ran on the field because I heard the crowd reacting yeah, yeah, and the yeah, literally, yeah. why in the middle of the like commercial break? Why would you run on the field in the commercial? Break? You stupid. Word. No, I'm not. What's uh, not the thing? Do anyone? We won on pod day, yo. Yeah, no. What's Swept not? on. 21? Oh, you stupid. Yo, I know we Swept. went to Hearn after the game. That shit was dope, man. Like, he was He's dope cool. Player. He seems like a chill dude. Hearns or Earns? Taylor Hearn. I mean, his, family, his family was there, like his sister, his mom and shit. His mom and shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Fuck. That's <laughs> just the way I talk. <laughs> Haven't you seen my movies? Haven't you seen my, have you seen my YouTube videos? <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a, um, we got to do a, 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 a tell. Is it still funny? I like watch along reaction. Uh, is it still funny? Almost twenty years later, that'd be dope. I would probably bet that it's uh, still probably, relevant. Probably, still. 
fat that it is. Still relevant to this day. For to sure. this day. Are y'all going to Fenway this weekend? Absolutely no, not. But I'm more than willing to do a watch along, uh, for sure. If you guys want to, you know, come come together and watch the game, I'm more than willing to do that. If the, if the Yankees would have, if the Yankees would have swept Cleveland, yes. <laughs> like if we would have at we least one, not lost the series. Uh, Twenty. Oh yeah, exactly. Four over the weekend. <laughs> that that would have maybe uh, had me buying some tickets, but no. Nah. Let's see. What's good, chat? What's good, guys? Guys, first of all, um, well, I'll wait until I start the, let me start the podcast. All right, guys, it is uh, November 23rd. Yankees won the series. Let's go! The Pittsburgh Show Podcast! <laughs> and game three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Yankees won. Yankees swept the series. The bats showed out against a really bad team and they did what they were supposed to do they took care of business we're going to talk about that some news people coming back some good feelings all of that are we back and more <laughs> Mr. Trump podcast. let's do it <laughs> all of that and more well and more could be a lot of things here we go Nate. Uh-huh. It was, it was. It was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Welcome to the Pit Shark Shop Podcast. It is your boy Goose McFly. I am brought to you by Boy Media. I, oh, I never I didn't do that correctly. Welcome to the Best Show Podcast. It's your boy Joe. Joined here by my two co-hosts, so Chris to my left. Yes. No, to my right. Wait, no, it is my left. Yeah, it's left. The other left. And then to my left, left is <laughs> left square. <laughs> to my left square. <laughs> to the left. To the left. Keith is in here. I'm in here. Keep. Chris is here, and you listening. We're, we're in this box. I think that's the new. I think that's the new intro. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Chris is here. Keith is here, and you listening. That's it. Where's that from? I don't know. It's from here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys, I don't know. Why. You remember? You remember? I tried to do that song. Woof 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 woof. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> Bark. All right, Pete. Guys, we're good yeah. spirits, of course. Uh, we're seriously not serious, but we dead ass, though, man. We dead ass that we're happy about these wins. Uh, we're happy about these good vibes. And we happy and we believe in that we're going to win the World Series. We back. Whoa, You got to relax, on, my guy. Hold on, hold on, you got to relax. Said, wait, hold on, what's going uh, on? No, nah, that's way too. Oh. I don't speak for. He drank that Legends Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, you got to relax, my guy. My guy said one crock and home run, and that's it. World Series is back on. <laughs> World I'm Series good. back on. No, back, I'm good. Baby. I'm not. That's, that's too far. <laughs> that's too far. He met Bernie and restored the feeling. <laughs> not for nothing. If you stand if you stand in the presence of Bernie, I mean, that's the that's one of the guys. Got you, you know got you I mean? dreaming a little bit. Po- postseason guy, man. That's postseason guy right there. I get it. I, I felt like, you know what I mean? Like, I was telling Jake, I'm like, yo, Jake. Yo, this guy right here, bro, this guy. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was out there, bro. Like, it was out there. <laughs> he was you know what I <laughs> mean? My guy, yeah. I don't yeah. get starstruck, but, bro, I was, uh, I was a little... Was I? Yeah. <laughs> My man got four World Series rings, B. Word. Four. Yeah. Four or five. There are Bird, no four Baby World Bird. Series rings without Bernie Williams. Yeah, there are. If you know, if you know, you know. This is that true. That guy was clutch as fuck. We talked about him. We just talked about him in the podcast before. I'm like, they need to be a little bit more like Bernie Williams, man. They need to <laughs> fall asleep right before the game. They got to wake up. You know what I mean? And hey, that's kind of what they did. Um, what's on yeah, the yeah, yeah. I said that the Yankees should take a nap <laughs> before the game. Like well, they, were, they were napping the first couple innings tonight. Well, you see, man, you, you speak shit into existence, B. This, this is why, man. 
this is why you speak into into existence all of a sudden you see bernie coming in like yo chilling with his gray beard the great yo, beard um, you know i'm just happy. like i had to i told him in spanish he's like uno, uno for dog, okay okay that's what he said I was like, yeah, was you know, he was about to bounce. His publicist was tight, bro. She was like, nah, bro. Like, she was tight. I'm like, oh, it was that lady in the big? That she was like, we didn't come here for all this. It's not supposed to be a meet and greet. Bro, because she already knew one pick means many picks. Right. That ain't none of my business. I took that picture and we bounced. And then Jake, I don't know, yo, John Boy is a fucking asshole. Like, he just takes a picture. He immediately edits it to the, to the older. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, Jake was geeked up. He, uh, he was hella geeked up to meet Bernie. Guys, guys that picture, you look so if excited. you guys haven't seen it, go to my go to my, my Twitter or my Instagram. Go to that show was fucking hilarious. If you look at the comments, no one's talking about Bernie Williams. Everybody says, Jake, is that how Jake really looks? Like They're like, yo, he's washed, bro. Like, <laughs> the iPhone 13 camera. Uh, <laughs> Yo, yo, they must have taken this shit with an Android. Like, people were saying some crazy <laughs> shit. Like, Android, god damn. Uh, yeah. Nokia. Nokia. Um, oh, my God. Uh, how much fun I had today. Uh, but how, how are you gentlemen doing? How are, how, what are your feelings right now uh, with this series, man? Um, how you doing, Keith? I'm good. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm, I'm in that, like, adrenaline riding off of you know the excitement of the game high still um you know winning streak sweep uh you know seeing joe's and john boy and jake and uh the gamer dude and legends and them getting the Curry, baby Curry. watch that like comeback and then you know everything i'm just riding high off that so i feel good man we are in control of our own destiny we're not out of it we have something to look forward to this late in the season still there's Plenty of teams that they're just looking forward to the season ending. And we have a prime time matchup Friday, Saturday, Sunday, national games against the Red Sox, the rivalry. And then we got, you know, the other two uh, rivals in our division. It's it's like whoever made this schedule, like whoever made this schedule just knew it was going to come down to the finish and they stacked everybody up. So it's fun, man. It's it's uh, I, I was saying we're in the postseason already. I'm having a good time because this feels like the postseason. We can't lose like it's the postseason. And, you know, if we can actually beat these teams and take these next three series, we deserve to get in the postseason. So mm -hmm. let's see it. Do do we do it? I don't know, but I'm going to enjoy it while we have it. And uh, I'm, I'm doing good because, you know, after this past weekend and the last series, we could have came and done the same thing in this series and we saw an immediate change. So. All is good. Chris, how are you doing, bro? How are you feeling tonight? I agree with everything you say. Um, I'm tired as fuck. But I'm feeling good, man. I'm, I'm feeling good uh, that we're talking about a sweep. I'm feeling good about the fact that we're talking about that we still have a chance, that we're not looking towards the offseason. Uh, previous pod, um, obviously we had every right to be angry. But we did say that, you know, the Yankees win these next six. Uh, starting with the Rangers series, obviously, that the feeling is going to be good. Um, it's going to be a tougher task against Boston because they're fighting for the same thing. Uh, they're leading. Uh, well, they have the first wild card, right? Every game, every game is going to feel like a wild card. Every game because, like, if you Bro, if we lose, I like that, Chris. 162 one game seasons. Right, right. And if we lose, that I mean, obviously, every loss is big. If we win, every win is big. But we got to make sure, you know, we, we we got the second wild card right now. So all we got to do is win. Just like, just keep winning, B. Don't lose. The, today, you know, I was scared today. I was like, yo, we cannot lose today's game, B. Because um, we were down early. Obviously, we'll talk about it. But the, the way that we won today is like, all right, you know, I, li I like what I'm saying. The pitching was, you know, we'll talk about the pitching. But the bullpen was crazy, uh, crazy good. I don't know. It just feels good. You know, winning, we definitely got to win. But the way we win, too, also gives that type, you know, gives that hope. So I, I like what I've seen today, man. How about you, Joe? How you feeling? Nah, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Um, there's still things that the Yankees got to clean up. You know what I mean? That, I mean, as excited as I am, you know what I mean? I'm trying to calm you guys down. 
because you guys are going crazy uh talking about world series and shit. uh but you know I, no, hold on, hold on a second. yeah but you got you guys balling out don't say that, yo, man. People oh. believe that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that like, like, there's still some things that the Yankees got to clean up. Uh, their defense, but it might be, you know, if you're gonna play against against the Texas Rangers, fine. You make these defensive mistakes, you can recover from them. Against the Red Sox in that offense, you make these defensive mistakes, not turning double plays. You know, bobbling balls that are normal ground balls and shit like that. Not getting to certain things and not converting out and uh they will put a quick i mean the mets know the mets know what's up those motherfuckers couldn't do anything in two games against the uh, against the red <laughs> top it's so trash bro so i wasn't bad. expecting that you trash, son. i mean well i mean come on <laughs> come on adk don't worry about that it's between me and you you heard um he's like he's like yeah you're the one wilding out bro i don't know what you're talking about thank um, you my guy thank you <laughs> <laughs> No, but but you know, all jokes aside, man. Like the Yankees still do got to clean up. They, they have some problems, you know what I mean? But I mean, we we are allowed to be happy with this win because it is 162 one game seasons. It is every game is a wild card game. It is, you know what? We lose today, it feels like we're out. Um, <laughs> we, we win, we're in. We win today, it feels like we're in. I mean, it's just that's how it feels. So I don't know. I mean, hopefully we can. <laughs> continue on this nice little trend and beat the Red Sox and sweep them. Uh, sweeping them would be great. And uh, that's all that matters right now. So. Yeah, I say take the series. Yeah, it's going to be tough to sweep. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, and, and Fenway. And Fenway. Bro, we can. Yankees, we have swept, swept them. them last time. We have, Yankees, we, you know we, what? Yankees have that capability uh-huh. to sweep. See, why are you bringing that word on, man? That's a bad word. Capabilities. That's a but bad we word. We are capable of sweeping them. <laughs> the ability. So I, one, one thing I'll say is that, you know, all the all the guys that were injured, there's a great time for them to be coming back. And it looks like, you know, things are coming together at the right time. So, And we definitely got some news to get into talking about that. Um, that. Today. Oh, wait. Now run through the news if you want to do that. Go ahead and yeah. run through the so. news. Running through the news right there. Chris, Chris is trying to cut me off right now. So I can start this start the news. But I'm not going to let him right now. Because I'm trying to buy time so I can be able to find Just somebody. breaks into songs. News with a Z. <laughs> the major deacon uh following tuesday's game the yankees option esteban flurry mass flow and domingo is up domingo's back Yay! shout out to domingo herman he's back and ready to go um very important news with sevi he came you know he was good he felt good his arm felt good he was also activated in this series, so that's good. Yes, yes, he definitely was. Uh, and he pitched in this series, which we'll get into. Jamison Tyon had a rehab start today, three innings pitch, four hits, two runs, two Ks, 51 pitches, man. And he looked, I'm hearing he looked thigh, man. He looked thigh. Hey, imagine this scouting report. He's like, ah, oh, so how, how do you look? <laughs> hey, he look thigh. Right. Yeah, my man's my, my man's eye. Uh, you know, I mean, he was out there, you know, doing his thing, and that's it for news. That's it. Yeah, if there's anything else, let us know. All in the chat. Oh, okay. Boom, well, said, boom. They, yo, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want, man? That's it. Everybody is good. That got hurt, getting back, <laughs> or or gone, or or out for the season. That's what's up. Uh, that's what's up. That's the stuff. <laughs> oh, man, the Rangers series, but we definitely could not play like how we played in Cleveland. Well, I, 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 <laughs> Against I loved, Cleveland. I loved a couple of things, right? And I loved how... Um, I loved how... Oh, before I, before I forget. Elizabeth, for- Elizabeth, oh. who anybody that's been in any of my live streams and things like that, it's probably not in the chat, but Elizabeth, I just wanted to say my heart, my heart goes out to you and 
your family condolences. Um, oh, man. Um, she lost her, you know, her family member, and um, you know, she's. She, I know she's really hurt and stuff like that. So her, you know, her aunt passed. So definitely condolences, Elizabeth and her family. But I'm, I'm definitely thinking about her. So. Uh, Condolences, Liz. Sorry for your loss. Elizabeth, always think about her, man. We, we we're about the community here, man, and she's like definitely one that's uh, that's about it, bro. She's in every stream all the time. She's always thinking about us, and she's always she wrote it down. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's she's sorry. She's, sorry to hear that. Are, so. Prayers up. Uh, uh, so definitely prayers to you, your family. Prayers. Um, yes, yes, yes. But the Yankees, you know, they they came out. They won for you, you know, and. Uh, Take your time. Take your time. You know, whenever you know we'll hear, we're here for you in the chat. Whenever, uh, you know, we're here to support you. So let me know what's up. I don't even know if you're even here to this. But it's okay. Um, okay. And with that, you know, we'll go into this Rangers series, right? Because I don't know what really stood out to you guys in this series before we get into each game individually and all of that stuff. Um, but like. To me, one thing that stood out is the importance of getting healthy once again and bringing back people that could really help take us to another level. I mean, Mike King was sorely missed on this team. Like, sorely, a guy that could give you two to three innings at the end of a blowout game or two to three innings in, you know, at the end of, uh, you know, at the end or in the middle of a game to get you to like the like the other part of the bullpen when another pitcher gets out and things like that when you need out. Mike King is that effective. Like he's good. Where you can it's not that he's a mop up guy necessarily because that's Heaney. I don't know how Heaney's still on the team with these guys coming back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he just keeps escaping the roster crunch. I know so I'm like, dodging and every, every time a new guy's coming back, I'm like, okay, this is the guy. And he like stays on. If it's gonna be the Yankees DFA him. That's the Yankees admitting that they traded away two prospects for nothing. That's crazy, um, and they won't I, do that. It could be Tyone or it could be Johnny O's, one of the two. Yeah, it's gotta be one. Guys, hold out hope, man. It's gotta be one of them. All right, um, he's a lefty though. He's a lefty. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm happy about uh, that. Them coming back, Sevy coming back, another multi-inning reliever coming up out of the pen that could be able to give the Yankees some more support. And um, people were concerned about his miles per hour. So I'm like, bro, he just came back from nine, you know, like from like 700 and something days. Clay Holmes is sensational. It was raining out there. Um, but, yeah, it was raining. Weather was nasty. It wasn't yeah. ideal. Once we once we get Luis to go back, I think we'll be we'll be Gucci, bro. We'll be Gucci. And um, Herman is another multi-inning guy as well. And I feel like his stuff would play up out of the pen. You know, so I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. And guys, I'm so, so excited. I don't know if you guys feel this way too. Just hearing this excitement. Make sure you guys, so this podcast, of course, is brought to you by John Boy Media. Be like the players on the field. Rocking the merch. Rocking the merch, my friend. You guys already know and say what's good. You rocking the merch, get the Delo Mio shirt for in Hispanic heritage. Noisico was wearing it. We had um, 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 Joelis. Joelis was wearing it. More guys wearing it. I sent it to all the B1, the team. So they wearing it, man. Avian, thank you so much for the sub, my guy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the uh, I, 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 I freaked out when I saw it. I thought I, I thought it, I thought it was a glitch, but I came, I, I, I came, I, I came into the bedroom and I'm like, wait, is that Loisica? What the fuck? Loisica got the fucking shirt on. B, I had to take a picture real quick, man. That that shit was dope. That's that's. And dope. I see, I see the Matrix the day before. I'm like, is this a glitch in the Matrix? <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. Oh, well, that's, proud, that's man. Yeah, I'm yeah proud. man. I'm like, yo. We broke through. <clears throat> that was the one. I seen somebody say, "Oh, where's the Mexican flag?" I'm like, "Well, we, there's, there's no Mexican players on the on the Yankee team." Yeah, that's a bounce, bro. Not yet, that's not yet, bounce. not yet. But someone always that. has to say something without like thinking about it or doing any research. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's, but, there's, there's a reason we're not leaving anybody. Yeah, out. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not on purpose, you know. If there's any Cuban players coming, you'll see the Cuban flag on there. I just really like how, on, which I, I, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, uh, Chapman. But, you know, any any Hispanic from any background, obviously, you come to the Yankees, you'll be on the shirt. I, I didn't notice until, like, after, like, silly me, but I like how the numbers are, like how in the Yankee Stadium, how they have, like, the yes. retired numbers. I was like, I like that look, man. That, that shirt is fucking fire. The shirt is fire. It looks good on the guys. Yeah, and it looked good on you. Just go with John Boy, you know, shop at John Boy Media, man. And you were at the game wearing it while he was yeah. wearing it on the field. Man. I was like, this shit is crazy. Yo, every day, like, whenever, whenever I go to a game, I'm always thinking, like, because I, I don't, it's it's very seldom that I rock merch that's not Pinstar Strong shit. I just, I'm just very adamant about it, right? Um, So I'm like, I, I be looking at, like, all of our shirts all the time. I'm like, should I rock today? Should I rock this? And whether it's a stream or whether it's a, like that's like my biggest debate. You know how we be debating like, oh, what are we gonna name the episode? And we're just like a fucking whole, whole half hour before the episode. Uh, we trying to figure out what what we're gonna name it. But the game is still like, going I'm, on. Yeah, like, I'm like, I want to be able to capture something. So I'm like, you know what? Let me wear the Delo Mio shirt. Back in the, back in here, Hispanic Heritage Month. Let's go. And then I'm wearing the shirt. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing a whole bunch of people saying, "Yo, we're gonna cut that shirt off." Blah blah blah. It's man. fire. It's fire. Oh, it's advertising. You're a walking yeah. advertisement. Jamomedia.com, man. Huh? Go get that. Yes, go get that. So, um, yes, for this series, Cortez, uh, Alexi was the pitcher uh, for the Rangers. <clears throat> Cortez looked nasty in the beginning, man. I really like how he looked uh, Nestor, to start the game. Cortez Jr. Knight. Yes. <laughs> Funk Nestor, Master Flex yeah. Knight. Next, Nestor. Nestor. <laughs> Nestor's Nestor, lab. Nestor's lab. Nestor, 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 <laughs> but he, but he blows his experiments to smithereens. Didi. Didi. Heeny. The Heeny. Heeny, yeah. He blows his experiments. He blows Boone's experiments to smithereens. Oh, my God. Bro, I, I love I love Dexter's lab. Those old school, that powerful girls about the Lisa. Those weren't really cur- uh, kids. Cartoons. Yeah, cow and chicken. Bro, they were eating ass on that shit. <laughs> man. That shit was crazy. I can't believe I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it, but. No way. I'm not showing my kids. A they were show eating ass. Cow and a chicken made by a mom and dad that are human, apparently, are over here. They adopted. Ass for I'm sorry. They were feeding them ass for <laughs> dinner. Hey. No it's a different time back then. It was a different time. Bro, we thought we thought we, we thought that show was cool. <laughs> we thought that show was cool. It's a cartoon. Now we got guys walking around with t-shirts that say I eat ass. <laughs> you know what? That's not about me. Hey, listen, man. That's the generation, right? That's the generation. 2021, you do whatever you want, bro. Yeah, Cortez, man. Cortez, Cortez. Cortez, bro. Um what you think? What you think? What you guys think happened? Like when he started giving up those runs, man. What you guys think happened to him? Like he I, just out of nowhere, be from one inning to the I, next. He was just I, lost. I it. think they just get a beat on him. I think a couple times through the order, they just get a beat on what he's doing. Um, Nestor is the type of pitcher he's got to like like pitch, pitch. He's not overpowering guys. Mm-hmm. He's got to sneak up on you. He's got to locate. Uh, he's got to get you off balance. And I think once in a while, you know, you see good hitters and not that the Rangers are good hitters, but they're professional hitters. They just get a beat on them and, and they start hitting them around a little bit. And it wasn't like he was getting mashed on. He gave up a homer and then, you know, a couple other knocks. But yeah. I was just a little annoyed with this game because the Yankees are up 4 Oh, you're like, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, cardiac Yankees. It's the right. cardiac Yankees. Got to make it Don't close. Know how to win another way. Giving the call the text, I must say, cardiac Yankees. Yo, um, Gary Homer in this game. And, yeah. you know, just to go four over real quick, Judge RBI single, Giancarlo sack fly, and then Glaber single. And then, you know, there was a lot of opportunities the Yankees had to run as a scoring position. 
but uh, I feel like the Yankees put away the bats. Like, all right, guys, this is enough for now. He'll figure it out. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> giving enough up three Nessa. runs. Nessa's out there sweating. Like, hey, y'all want to score a little bit more? One run. I just, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just really like how the bullpen came in and just shut that shit down. Yeah, uh, the, the bullpen. I, th- I thought Boone made the right decision. I know it's four and a third, and he didn't get his win. But I thought Boone made the right decision going to Green right there. And I think that this is Green's role. Green's role is not the eighth inning. You know, it's not. It's Put not the fire out. Inning. Put it's, the fire out. Yes, it's the fire. Bring them in and like, those middle innings, five to six. I think Holmes is more of my, like, late inning reliever. In, in, all, in all honesty, just because he keeps the ball on the ground and that, yo, he's just fucking nasty. Yo, Holmes to the eighth. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I, 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 I like it. Yes. I like it, man. Holmes I really do. I mean, Holmes to the eighth, seven, well, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> Holmes to the eighth, I'm saying it. Holmes to the eighth. Holmes to the eighth. Like, relax. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, so Chad Joe Green, was nasty, too. Did his, did his job. But, you know what? Chad Green might be even more effective because all of the relievers, Green, um, even Holmes, and Chapman, mm-hmm. they, they didn't pitch for a couple of days before this game. I think it was like two or three days. So they were nice and rested, right? We were talking about how in this 20-game stretch, which just ended. <laughs> Yankees, you guys played 20 straight games, man. I guess made it out of it alive. They were still Much on the wild did have what a losing it? streak in it. <laughs> you know what? Right, you, know what? <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> Nice. Bro, they didn't lose like 10 games, be like, well, yeah, that shit was we're crazy. Not gonna, we're not going to talk about that. It is what it is. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. But the, but I'm just, I think that these multi inning guys, King, uh, Sevy, and now Herman coming back, these guys will now help spell the bullpen and give them this extra rest down the stretch because we're going to need them. And we got another off day on Monday, too, which is great. Before hey. we got to run that little gamut, you know, go through Toronto, in Toronto, right, oh, guys? Wow. And then we got to go through. <laughs> Going through to the Tampa. six, 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 six. Already. And Tampa may not give a shit by the time we got to them. They're like, ah, we're just resting up. Hey, hey, you, you forgot who's running that, man. It's, it's Ke- what is his name? Kevin what? Kevin Cash. Kevin, Kevin Cash. Cash. He's a, fu- he's a fucking asshole, B. I'm, I'm telling not, you. They're, gonna, they they're not taking us back. They're not resting like the NFL. They're not taking no, no feet know. off the gas. He might want to pay us back for that series. You remember when the Yankees were uh, going up against the uh, Rays? Like, way back when. And Joe Torre was still coaching the team. And I think the Yankees are, like, already clinched the division. And it was the Red Sox that needed us to win because the Rays were trying to get in. And then, was that in 2000? I don't know. I don't know what, what year that was. Maybe somebody could tell me in the chat what year that was. Not me. But I can't recall. When it was like, <laughs> I know it happened. I, it I, I'm, I'm, I'm and with then you. Scott Proctor was out there on the mound giving up bombs, bro. And then like they keep putting the camera on Joe Torre. Like, hey, you gotta take him out. And he's like, Oh, like, that was that Proctor game. <laughs> you know, when they were just like, bro, oh, shit. Yo, Proctor's arm was done, done. Is. Done, did he done, done? 2011? Right? I don't know if it was. Was it 2011? Then it was Joe Girardi. Earlier than 2011. It was Girardi. No, so it wasn't. But I remember that they were they kept focusing on the manager, bro, or whatever it is. But Scott Proctor was never under, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. No, was, Scott Proctor wasn't under Girardi. No, he wasn't. Yeah, it would have to be earlier than 2011. Yeah, it must have been like, it must have been like 07 or 06. I was about I to say 06. It, I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know what it was. But, so um, but anyway, some it was strange like, times. Some crazy that game era. where they, they ended up coming back um, and the Rays won on that walk off. Bro, but Kevin Cash wasn't the manager then, B. They don't, yeah. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Kevin Cash hates the Yankees, B. If the Yankees are like a, the, a game or uh, whatever, go into. The Yankees, bro. Like, you want a ring with us, bro. We gave you a ring with you. Like, one thing, well, I mean. Well, I mean, re- recently, well, today, actually, there wasn't it today that uh, there was some beef between the Rays and the Blue Jays. So maybe, maybe, you know what I mean? Like, maybe they want the Blue Jays out. <laughs> nah, I just, I don't think it's a, a a baseball thing in your division going into the postseason to, like, rest in the last series. Like, 
you might want you might not want them to see your best pitchers. That's what they like to do sometimes. They want I want to set up my pitchers. They do tune up starts, Keith. I think they, they can. Only give I, don't, them, like, I just don't see them punting. I don't see them punting. Not but punting, I, but they'll be like, all right. So you guys are just we're just gonna get working. Like that's the that's the attitude. We looking I'm for too working. many favors from our ops. My boy the other night, my boy Sean was like, yo, it's op appreciation night. We in there looking at the out of town scoreboard like, come on Mets, come on Rays, like. <laughs> We put ourselves in this position. We shouldn't be. Joe, we really we shouldn't did. be waiting on Kevin Cash and the Rays to do us a solid. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I rather. I mean, fuck it, man. Let's face. Let's face their guys, man. Fuck it. Yeah, so yeah whoever it is. Beat them. It is what it is. Uh, it is so what Nester. it is. So Nestor. Ace. <laughs> nah, but this shit, yeah. So the bullpen came in and just shot shit the fuck down bro green holmes joelli and is uh, chapman back Joelia? is chapman back i think chapman is i back. think chapman's back chris i was saying that today to jake i was like mm-hmm. i think chapman's back I think, yeah but he's not throwing that one okay like you know what i think he realized i don't need to i just need to throw maybe 98 to 97 and just locate it and i'm gonna just get the outs bro like why why am i trying to force <laughs> This envelope for for why, you know, like these guys can't touch my split and my split and my my slider becomes more effective if I'm locating my basketball. As so, long as he locates, he could throw 98, 99. That that last strikeout was a ninety nine up a mile power fastball. You bring it up, bro. So, you can dial it up. Yeah, man, that's you, so bro. be just throw that shit to the eyes. Be they'll swing on they'll swing under it. Forget it. Um, <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. Um, it was dope, man. Four three win, four three win. Yeah, four three win. I mean, the Yankees just said, you know what? We're just not gonna do any more insurance runs because we're just gonna save all of our runs for the next two days. And they did that. That's just such a sound strategy by New York. I, I'm, I'm happy that they thought ahead like that, where they said, you know what? The bullpen got it tonight. <laughs> they thought ahead. I think, you know, Sevy gonna pitch tomorrow, so we gonna save the runs so that Sevy could come in. You, you see, guys, I got it. I, I figured it out. The Yankees said, we're going to score our runs the next two days. We're going to do the reverse thing that we did against the Indians. Let's go. Went to this game, game two, for a fresh new Yankee finish. We already knew it was like new vibes. Um, haters all over all, all over social media, like, yo, man, the Yankees are trying. Shut up, bitch. I'm out. Oh, I'm out on you, boy. I'm here. <laughs> damn. Damn, Rock. God if damn. The Yankees, if the Yankees are playing, and I, I have to make the statement, bro, because there's like so many people, so many crazy, like, oh, man, you're wasting your time, wasting your money going to these games. I'm like, yo, bro, listen. If the Yankees are on, if the Yankees are playing, if we are in a season, whether we are 50 games over or we are 20 games over, the Yankee game's on my TV. If I'm, if I'm at the game, I'm at the game. And I'm going to be emotionally invested. That's just what it is, bro. Because I already know when the baseball season ends, there is no other sport. And Chris knows this because it's been the same since high school. There is no other sport that fills that hole for me. I'm, sorry, I'm talking about for me, personally. Other people have other sports. Oh, we got football. Oh, we got basketball. Oh, we have fucking soccer. Oh, we have Cricket. fucking Cricket. badminton. I don't know. Whatever you have. Tennis. I have nothing else. <laughs> when baseball ends, like to me, I, I'll watch other sports. Don't get me wrong. I get and I'll get emotional about other sports and whatever. But LeBron, nothing, nothing is like baseball tier emotion. Even regular season emotion is like trumps Yankees. anything else. For you know, I can be. So, you know, I just love baseball. That's just my first love, and it's always going to be like that. And I'm not apologizing for it, yo. And, you know the the off season, the off season is longer than the season. The off season is so fucking <laughs> long, bro. I mean, mad long, man. No, what's the world? Se- unless you win the World Series, where you could bask in that shit for months. The minute the World Series ends, bro, you already thirsty. It'll be February oh, before you know. X amount of days <laughs> until pitchers and catchers report. Bro, that should be mad long. There's, 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 there's somebody, there's somebody on Twitter that be like putting it up, like the dates and shit. I'm like, yo, bro, that shit. Yeah, I don't know why they do those long. countdowns. That that's what makes it feel longer. It's only a couple. Bro, months. I know it is, it is. Well, but you know, when you miss something, when you miss something, it seems like forever. Oh 
November. <laughs> yeah, November. I, I know I missed the stadium. I, I won't take that for granted ever again after we had the extended off season. Like last off season was the longest off season. Yeah, that shit was the longest. We had the sixty game season where we couldn't go to the stadium. Like we I love watching have, football. I love watching have, basketball. But nothing compares to watching one. a baseball game yeah. in the Bronx in Yankee Stadium. I'll miss that shit. Like we might that's have why I'm at one. these games. We might have another one because of the CBA and all that shit. No. Right, so that's what I'm like. All so right, appreciate I'm, baseball I'm while it's here, guys. More games in this season. I, I will go to the game, even if I don't Bruh. think we're winning anything this year. I'll be Absolutely. at the game for sure. For sure. Oh my god! Oh. I just I just watched the right fielder done out Higgy at home right now. <laughs> Higgy, Higgy saw Gio went. This fucking what a hose! Holy shit! Bro, he gunned them out. That shit is like, was it bro, it's just—it's wild to me that he was technically a free agent. Like he was, <laughs> like they let him, Texas let him go, and yeah. he was out here. And then I picked him up in fantasy, and he's Cuban, right? The rest, is, the rest is history. Um, I don't know, I don't know. No say, no say. Uh, I like, I like Stanton getting the offense started. Bro, I, I like that. In game two, yes. I mean, the sacrifice, really you kind of want him more. Of course, of course. Of course. There, but the broken bat one? No, that that was the, um, he, like, yeah, where he grounded yeah, out. Yeah, the, the, the broken broken background, though, yeah. Uh, you want him more. But, you know, it's it's easy to be greedy with Giancarlo because he's just been, he hits bombs, bro. Like, the homer that he hit next at bat was ridiculous. That line drive. I was like, what the fuck? That's not like, there's no way that's fair, right? Like, where I was saying, that shit just stood straight. That yeah, just so just fast in the stadium, yo. It's like, if, if I, I missed it. it, it went out in a hurry. And it was one of those, like, he, he hit some baseballs that, like, don't make any sense. Like, he hit some balls where it's like, that's, that's not safe. Like, that shit was a laser, it was a rocket. He uh, judge said that he judge said he felt sorry for the fans. Yeah, <laughs> watch out. Because that Don't shit is a fucking bullet. Get yeah, out of the way. Do bullet. not try and catch it. Get out the way. Yo, can you imagine like somebody out there like looking at it and just boom? Oh shit. And you don't get the ball? No, that shit that, that happened that happened <laughs> that happened in the Bugs Bunny cartoon too. <laughs> Remember the guys? Like, I got it! I got it! And then <laughs> he and caught the ball. Off the kid's head. He got it. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah! It right hit the over kid the short porch, in the that head. Shit right off the top. <laughs> no, but in the Bugs Bunny cartoon, the same one. He the the he, the guy said, "I got it, I got it." He caught the ball, but then he died. <laughs> That's how hard it was. <laughs> yeah, and then the, to, the 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 tombstone said, "He got it." <laughs> that shit is fucked up. Man. Thirty-one homers, eighty-three RBI, and I feel like he could have had more if. Remember, he, he, had, he put a really bad July, guys. Remember that that month of July though he was fucking dreadful. Thirty one homers, eighty three RBI, uh, two hundred and sixty nine, two sixty nine uh, average, three fifty two on base percentage, eight fifty OPS. Um, Is he MVP? No, but he's <laughs> no. doing still a solid year. Year four MVP, 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 MVP in the eighties. MVP in the eighties. And not done. <laughs> He'll add to it. <laughs> if we think we're winning these games, we need him to add to it. Yeah, man, definitely. He's been super consistent, and I, I believe this is, yeah, this is the most amount of games that. Oh no, 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 no. no. Him and Judge, him and Judge, it might be the most amount of played. games him and Judge have played healthy. Ever. Yeah, it worked out. Last four years, it, it, it well, worked out. <laughs> in, in 2018, he played 100. Supposedly. Games. Oh, okay. Which sounds crazy. I didn't even remember he played, that. He played a hundred and how many? A hundred and fifty-eight games. A hundred and fifty eight. In twenty seventeen? In twenty seventeen? In twenty eighteen as a Yankee. In twenty eighteen. Oh. In twenty seventeen as a Marlin, which means he was playing the field every day. He, he played hundred and fifty nine games. Four games that year. That sounds crazy, right? He kid? Yeah, he doesn't even. I mean, he they they were acting like this man was made out of glass. That's why well, they DH'd in, him in 2018. He did hit. He did only play 18 games, and then in two, 2020, out of 60, he only played 23. So that's probably what they're talking about there. But he's up to 130 games this season. The Yankees have kept him healthy. I, in my opinion, I think that the Yankees haven't played him enough. Uh, yeah. Maybe if we, maybe next year the strategy is let's play Giancarlo. Even though we're trying to keep him healthy, I 
get it. Let's let's maybe play him even more and on the field maybe because I obviously the, there's a difference from Giancarlo playing on the field, like in the field, and Giancarlo DH. Sure. I feel like he feels like he's more in the game. I just and I just need to start playing the outfield till August. So right. I just need a help for Giancarlo in the playoffs, man, because he hits. Bro, he destroyed last we week. We in the playoffs right now, and he's healthy, so he and he's got hitting. a willis to victory. <laughs> and he's hitting. Yeah, so we need that. So love, love to see him, man. Facts, we need that. So, Giancarlo, great job there. Um, was a little tight. Uh, who was it that was pitching this game again? Um, Monty. 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 Monty versus Dunning. Um, Monty, Monty, Monty was doing – yeah, Monty was doing good. He was giving. Gotta give this guy some run support, man. Like he can. After he left, after he left, he got it. He's like, whatever, man. He, he got the win anyway, but Probably I feel like he's, like he's like spiteful with the win. He's like, ah, whatever. Hey, yo, Monty, you got you out, you out. I bet, yo, Rizzo, hit no, RBI out, single bro. real quick. Was, <laughs> Gallo hit a home run real quick. They, they were out there like swinging with twigs and shit. <laughs> and then they broke out the rule. He's like, all right, guys, bring out Lucille, and then you see. <laughs> Lucille. <laughs> then you see people like coming through with like mad briefcases opening up like this is where the bats are and Monty's looking at this shit happening like <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, yo shit. man what about Gallo man you you would think that the neck shit Gallo neck Throg's neck you would think that shit would <laughs> you would think that Gallo shit you know would keep him down or you know what I mean but he he's been thing. fucking killing me Gallo yeah. neck yeah, yeah, people, yeah. You see, some of you got it. Some of you got it in the chat. That is the Uncle Phil shit. Uh, rest in peace, hey, yo. Uncle Phil. Uh, oh, rest uh, in peace, yeah. Joey Gallo hit that bomb. People were saying, oh, Gallo only hits meaningless bombs. Guys, that took the lead from 3 1 to 4 1. And remember how I said, because people were laughing at me when I put up the video saying, oh, you guys really think that teams are going to give up because you guys scored a lot of runs? I'm like, Teams play different. Teams that are way out of it, they play different when they're down like six, seven runs, bro. Like they do. They, they, I'm sorry, they do. They're not as intense with the game. That's just what it is. So you, you obviously haven't been watching enough baseball. They went to you know from four, you know from three one or four one, um, and then in the seventh inning, that's when Judge hits that homer to put the fucking game away. I, that shit was a bomb. Yeah, he was like, yo, let me stop playing. <laughs> that shit. Yeah, let me stop playing around, B. Come on, man. Yo, that shit. That shit was dope, man. Um, I, it, Today in the game, during the broadcast, they were talking about how Gallo's like behind, um, I forgot, um, I think it was Salvi in the home run for the AL. Or is it, well. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh. Lady. Otani, Vladdy, Shohei, Salvi, and then uh, Gallo was in that conversation talking about like you know the most home runs in the AL, and then he takes a walk. <laughs> like I was like, you see, like I like this, I like that, but the motherfucker hits bombs close to forty home runs, and he's taking his walk as well. You know, what I mean, it's not all strikeouts, but this guy right. love loves love seeing love seeing what he's doing, love seeing what King is doing. He was dominant, open, dominant. The bullpen. I, I need I need somebody to come up with numbers for me before King and after King. Uh, <laughs> A K B K. But yeah, Michael King has literally stabilized the bullpen. Mm -hmm. He Catch has it. stabilized the bullpen, and him coming back, Severino. I was so happy for man. He came in, and Chris, you did a really good thing on on pitcher strong. You know with the. The song and everything that I'm um, coming home. Follow TikTok. Follow. Fresh on TikTok. Uh, yo, that was that shit was dope. Uh, people were like, yo, am I cutting onions here? Like, it, it, she was dope. <laughs> she was dope. I sent this to his wife. His wife loved this. She's like, oh my God, what are you doing now? Like, yo, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> yes. Good reaction. She's going to um, cry. Yeah, so Sevy tosses two innings, two hits. 2Ks, the crowd chant is savvy, savvy. That was dope, bro. That was actually started by section 217, which is the family section. That's where that chant started, and then the whole stadium picked up on it, where they were chanting savvy. That, so, uh, like, they know, you know, that family knows, you know, savvy has been trying really hard, and 
people with the obnoxious comments online where they'll say, oh, Sevy should be saving his arm for next year, blah, blah, blah. Bro, stop, man. Like, I'm telling you. Homer draft. Bro, it <laughs> gives you. Oh, we got a point for Homer draft? Nice. Tatis. Tati. Tati oh, 40. 40. Tati Oh, yeah. Tatis for 40. Bro. They, um, going down without a fight. I, I just feel like mentally that's a hurdle that he needed to get over this month. Yeah. Um, not not only – just the fact that he came back and was able to get on a major league mound. Remember what – and unfortunately for Batances, remember that year where he was like fucked up and he finally came back, got on the mound, and Batances did that little smooth shit and broke his fucking neck. Oh, my God. Yeah, the little hop oh, in the skip. I was so upset, bro. And he looked so nasty that inning, Chris. Remember? Yeah. He that, looked so nasty. I'm like, oh, my God, we got Batances back. Bro, we were there. fucking hype. We were fucking hype. And then literally, like, comes back uh, from commercial. Uh, then the Batances. Uh, so I'm like, wait, what? Bro, man. It's tough. It, it's tough. You know, and, and for his own self. Like, why, why should he wait? He's been waiting. Over 700 fucking days. He's been waiting. So why should he wait to, to next season when he could help the team right now? Look, right. like, like we, we fucking swept the Tigers. And he was one of the reasons why we, we, we were able to do that. Um, so nah, man. And I feel him, man. I feel him. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, I said Tigers. The Rangers. Uh, I feel him, man. I feel him. Like, you know, after coming back from surgery, thinking everything is fine. I got, I got my second MRI and I, and I found out that I had to go back under the knife, but it fucks with you. It fucks with you mentally. It fucks with you. Like, can I really do it? Can I really come back? You start questioning yourself um, to have to go through therapy and, and, and recovering and all of that and to get back on the mound. I know he was walking on air from the from the fucking bullpen to, to the mound. Um, I, and I'm fuck, I, I was so, 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 so happy for him and so happy for Sevy. Uh, so it was awesome to see. Maybe I, sh I shed a little duck. A duck uh, Little talk there. Dog tear. That's a talk. No, no, dog tear. <laughs> yeah, so it's dope, man. Happy for him. Glad he was able to do that. For him and his family. So it's just a uh, great shit. It's heavy. And don't worry about the miles per hour. People were in about the miles per hour. Just look at the stuff. The stuff was good. And obviously, he was getting major league hitters out. And uh, hey, Savvy, maybe you can start dialing it little by little as you build up. Then you can start dialing it up. All right. So. Uh, but take your time. He struck out. He struck out his first batter, V. Yeah, <laughs> like even up. even with that, it's a struck out his first batter. Great job, great job, great job. And um, Yankees win seven one. Yeah, Yankees won seven one. Seven one. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. I was I was uh, nervous with uh, Gio because he came came up kind of hopping after he s slipped and bust his ass. Bro, I, that shit was crazy at the end of the game. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" I'm like, "Come on, we don't need this shit right now. <laughs> Be not well, another injury." Well, Velasquez needs to come up. First of all, where's Velasquez? He's in Little Italy, B. Little Italy. Bro, little he not, Italy. He didn't go to no minor league. Get in the middle of Little he's Italy. Little, little did we know? He's like, that's what you think, bro. I'm going down. I'm chilling, bro. I don't know where. <laughs> he's, he's chilling in Florida right now. Yeah, my man's hugging the block right now. My man going to Patricia's to eat. My man, yo, I'm like, hey, yo, bro, yo, you going to AAA? Or like, yeah, I'm fuck out of here. It's a, it's, a, it's a triple. Don't say that. <laughs> he's going to think that he said that to you. Yeah, <laughs> Or did he? Or did the fight down next time? Or... Uh, <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> that, shit, that shit. Don't ever play that shit again, B. <laughs> I just, you know, something. I just try new things sometimes. No, he should right. he should be called up. He should be called up, man. Um, so at, at this point, Yankees win the series. Um, and we got to do something that we don't really do. Which is, which is win, win on pod day. Win on <laughs> they pod don't like, day. They don't like winning on pod day, B. Everything happens so great on this day, guys. Like, there's two parts of this game, and it's, um, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to acronym it because it's actually going to sound crazy. Yeah, y'all yeah, were there, man. Y'all talk about it. I was going to say, I was going to say, <laughs> oh, you know, BBW and then A. A, what? Yeah, it's not, it doesn't sound right. But yeah, before, this, this, game, this game makes up into two different things, which is, before Bernie Williams and after Bernie Williams, okay? <laughs> so, so a lot of pot today. 
Yeah, Wapa, 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 Wapa. Want to hear a funny ass joke? Um, oh my God. So it was me. You know, Jimmy calls me, which is John Boy. John Boy calls me. He's like, "Yo, Joe, man, I got tickets. We in Legends today, man. Like, yo, we out." And then Jay's like, "Yo, Joe, you gotta come. Courage is coming too." I'm like, "Where Courage is coming?" Which if you guys don't know, he's huge in the video gaming world. He does a lot of, you know, a lot of Call of Duty tournaments. He's a pro gamer. Uh, got a bunch of followers. He's dope, man. He's down with John Boy Media, the whole vibe and all that stuff. So I'm like, "Yo, I gotta go to this shit, bro. Legends too, bro. And you eat good." You know what I mean? So, you know, you got steak in there. They got, you know, sushi. There's shit in Legends. That you sushi, man. Buy. You, and like, even if you wanted to buy it in the stadium, there's shit in Legends that you can't do that. Like, the skirt steak that's there, you're not getting that. You can't buy that anywhere else in the stadium. You can, you can only just get it there, you the know? Mashed like, potatoes. Yes. So, we went there, whatever, we met up. Um... You know, uh, sh- uh, uh, shout out to Theo who got helped get us the tickets. And yo, we were in there. The boy Theo. Yeah. Boy Theo, man, let's get it up. Let's go. And yo, we got in there and, and we ate. It felt good. Everything was good. And then the Yankees just giving up these little dumb runs, bro. This is what they said that Yankees got to clean their shit up, bro. Whether it's the errors on the field and it's just, it's, it's whack. The Yankees did yeah, some double plays. Yeah, that throw by Luke. That throw by Luke was <laughs> like, my man, you out of here, <laughs> you out of here. Well, We lie. can't have that. <laughs> we can't have that. We got a gold glove of first baseman sitting on the bench right now. My God, we can't have this right now. <laughs> yep, yeah, exactly why Rizzo got right we back in that game. We cannot well, not back this. in that game, but back right. in Milano. Um, but yeah, no, that, that was one double play, Alexis. There was another one that the Yankees needed to turn. They didn't, where they were just too slow on the transfer. It didn't count as an error, but they were too slow as, at you know, like DJ took a little bit, just a little bit longer through to second to Geo. Geo, the transfer was just a little slower, and he just didn't get the out. Like, the, those things make a difference, man. That's why, you you know, you need to convert those outs. The really good infields that are quick and convert those outs, bro, just less outs that the pitchers got to get. Also, from earlier in the series, scoring from first on a double. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, Phil that's, Nevin. Send yeah, them, man. Like, send them like, all, bro. We need yeah, runs. They, they, these are, these are things all. These are things that, you know what I mean, need to, need to work out. Well, we met Phil Nevin before the game. Well, that was Phil dope. Nevin before the game, so that was dope. Man. <laughs> Phil Nevin, that shit, B. Yeah, yo, he was like, I was like, you know, when he, he sent, who was he sent? G- uh, he tried to give Gio the stop sign. Who who scored before Gio? I forgot. Who Glaber? Said, no, wait. When he sent Glaber, right? Yeah, Glaber. And he was like this. And he looked back at us. like, yo, Phil Nevin right here, baby. Phil Nevin, that shit. <laughs> and he was looking at it. He started laughing, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. That's what we needed. Phil Nevin, that shit. <laughs> this game was a catcher game. Uh, Higgy was robbed, man. I thought he hit him. Oh, man, yeah, bro. That center fielder. Their, their outfielders got fucking some really good arms. They got some defense. That third baseman, be got me tight. Yo, he, he gets everything, bro. Like, yeah, everything, be vacuum. Go, man. You man can vacuum. Like, an asshole, bro. Like, that's what you <laughs> Former catcher, now a shortstop. Hell yeah, bro. And yo, a everybody lot. was running rush shot on Higgy. I don't know if it because of Kluber or whatever it is. They were just running rush shot on Higgy. Um, Kluber slow to the plate. Four and a third from Higgy, eight hits, three runs, all of them earned. Four. You said four. You said four and a third from Higgy. No, no, from Kluber. You said Higgy. You nah, said bro. four and a third from nah, Higgy. Nah. Higgy. Well, I mean, technically, he's part of the battery, right? Uh, four and a third from Kluber and Higgy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kluber was getting little. He was uh, too many three-two counts. Yes. Uh, they're definitely not a no hitter. <laughs> definitely not a no hitter this time around. Yeah, Alexis uh, said, I've never seen a team turn a double play as slow as the Yankees. The Yankees are so slow turning. Bro, guys. slow. <laughs> Playing slow. guys out of position. Oh. They don't have that many reps. You got uh, Glaber at second base and Gio at shortstop. Used to be Glaber at shortstop, Gio at third base. Towards the end of the season, man. Bro, I don't care what defensive metrics you show me. 
that tell me that Derek Jeter is a bad infielder, quote unquote. Derek Jeter turned quick double plays. He just did. He just gets the ball. It's out of, you know, it's done. Robinson Cano is probably the best I've ever seen. And it's like, what are we? My man, threw, like, my man threw across his body. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, 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 like it's nothing, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like, Yan- as Yankee fans, man, we're too, like, uh, we just had it good, man. We had it good for, for a mighty long time, man. For Excellent. a mighty long time. Excellent. Uh, I want to talk about how Wandy Peralta. I, I don't think we'd be talking about a win if it wasn't for Wandy. Wandy's one of the main Agreed. reasons. Agreed. Uh, two, two huge outs, and then I comes like back. You have to get four outs in that inning, Chris, when you first came in. If, if, <laughs> hey, bro, that's what I'm saying. The defense got to. The go defense, better, man. Because adds more pitching to the bullpen, more stress on the arm, man. Like it's just more, more, more. Of these guys get to see the pitches, come, you know, uh, from from our bullpen. We, you know. We get the ball on the ground. We gotta, we gotta convert those into outs, man. We can't be making mistakes. Um, gotta get them. Man, gotta the bull, get them. I, th- I, th- I think the bull, <laughs> right? I think the bullpen, man. Uh, they should get a pinch right strong performer, B, for, um, for the series. I think they do. The bullpen was nasty. It was, it was, man. I don't think they allowed a run. Yeah, I don't. I don't they think didn't they did. allow a run this series. Yeah. I mean, that's Religious. just. I mean, that's just. That's just sensational work. I mean, we talk about, it's true, uh, Fernandez, uh, base five, man. We talk about how, you know, Cashman wasn't really coming out to talk about, you know, what's happening with the Yankees and how he wants to be the smartest person on the trade. But Holmes and Peralta, I mean, we didn't know who these motherfuckers were. (laughs) And now they're like big staples of the bullpen. I could have done without sending away Sessa. Sessa was really good. Oh, yeah. Sessa's nasty, man. He's killing in Cincinnati. I've seen the numbers. Sessa, we Sessa paid day. the price losing Sessa because we had to get Justin Wilson bum ass out of here. Nobody was going to just straight up take <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, it's true. We it's had true. to throw Sessa in I think in Wilson's the pitching well as well. I bet. Fuck him. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> no, but Sessa. Um, That's the day. Yeah, man. Sessa's good. Um, and then, of course, Green and Chap, man. I love what I'm seeing from Green. Um, see, there's one thing about Green, but he he'll fuck up. But then, he's like, ah, man, I'll be good tomorrow. Yeah. I bet, I bet. Figure it out. So <laughs> figure it out. So I mean, yo, listen. Remember how I said that? You know, this game was a tale of two games before Bernie Williams and after. Listen, everything happens for a reason, and everything happens is supposed to like happen at the time that it happens, right? Because. In the, when was it? In the fifth inning. Well, these guys go up 3-0. We were going to go at the end of the fifth. Uh, no, at the at the end of the, at the end of the top of the fifth. We were going to go inside to go grab some food real quick and then run back out. But then we say, nah, you know what? We're just going to, let's wait. Because I guess we got distracted with like one of the games that they show on, on the, on the mm-hmm. screen. The hot shit. I don't know. We're, we're so stupid. Anyway, we didn't go. They scored, it's 3-0, whatever it is. We're coming up, bottom of the fifth inning, and we go down. We meet Bernie Williams. Good vibes. Let's go. I can't believe I met Bernie Williams. Now I've met two of the uh, of the uh, the Fantastic Five or the Core Five or whatever. Um, I met two of them, which is Mariano Rivera, who I met twice. And then the other one is... Uh, uh, Bernie, you gotta you gotta get the last three stones. Derek Jeter's gonna be tough. I already know, bro. I don't know how I'm gonna meet Derek Jeter. I, you know what? We'll figure I'm it gonna, out. I'm gonna count that I met him um, because <laughs> when we went to Fenway Park before, he came up. He's like, "Hey, man, you guys came all the way from New York up here." We went to Fenway Park. He's like, "Yeah, man, we losing a lot." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, like, Mariano's last game. We're losing like 20 to some shit or whatever it is. He's like, yeah, man, we're losing a lot. Enjoy the game. I don't. <laughs> Enjoy the game. So I guess I'm at him. Nah. Uh, no. Nah. You need a picture, man. That's I it. You got picture, it. That's, it. that's the proof. So uh, infinity uh, stones, dude. The infinity, the infinity stones. Is, I'm collecting the infinity stones. That's what Ram said. Uh, so, yeah, boom. Right away, as soon as that happens, like the whole energy changes, bro. Like, and then you know, Jake is like starstruck. Like, he, that's his guy. Bernie Williams is his guy. 
he was he was about to not take the picture. He's like, nah, let him go. I'm like, yo, Bernie. Hey, pal, you think you crees que tu es una foto? You know, talk to him in Spanish real quick. Oh, no, okay, está bien. Took took a picture with him. You know That's the I mean? key. The roller, you know what I mean? But I'm kind of like, like ushering him to the picture. His his publicist was tight. If you look at the picture, she was tight. She's like, fuck. Damn it. More people going to want pictures now. So then we got, we took the picture. Jake was like on cloud nine. He's like, let's get some fucking ice cream, man. So he got some, <laughs> ice, cream. <laughs> he got some ice cream. We got some ice cream with a freaking cookie. And then the Yankees are going to score. Seven unanswered runs for the rest of the game. It's <laughs> the ice cream, dude. Run. Let's go, man. Thank you, Bernie Williams, for changing up the vibe. But today was catcher day, man. Piggy with the double. Then even the e- even the wild pitch is part of a catcher uh, R- RBI, B, because it hit off the <laughs> the fucking knee, ca- oh, the the knee protector, B, and just it just went away, B. The boys got away. Shout out to the wild pitch RBI, B. Wild, wild, pi- wild pitch single. The clutches, I mean, they need to get comeback player of the year. Um, the I think pitch. so. I think they so. Were phenomenal with the New York Yankees this year. Uh, yeah. That's just what they if are. The Yankees no. don't want to score. Wild pitch will score. Wild pitch got you. Always want to score. Wild pitch always want to score. Always. Right always. Right away. Right away. See a man on third. See a man on third. Oh, word. But. Man on second, wild pitch moving to third. You know what I mean? Bun, bun single by the wild pitch. Yeah, wild pitch. <laughs> with a run at the third. Wild pitch. Yeah, man, wild pitch. B. And then wild the G's pitch. took over. That's it. The G's took over, man. Glaber with the double. Let's talk about Glaber, B. Glaber, Glaber. That was big. Glaber. That was big. You know what I mean? He's, he's, the, law, the laws. The laws are back. Get your shirt. John, John Boy Media Shop. Shop at John Boy Media. Uh, bro, the laws are back. I think so too, man. I think so too, man. And uh, all right, uh, can't 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 spell Higgy without the G's too, man. He's a G as well. Uh, two RBI double, uh, and then fucking Gary. Oh, Gary. Not only does Gary gun down one of their fastest runners. As soon as he comes in, bro. My man's probably ice. He's chilling, you know, talking to everybody. Comes in, gonna run down. You know, you were talking about how uh, gonna run up. <laughs> you were talking about they, they were having a field day running on uh, Higgy, and then the Kraken comes in like, yo, nah, nah, that shit stops right now, B. And then he fucking puts a fucking he cracks a two run bomb on <laughs> his first step back. Release. Love it, man. Love it, love it, love it, love it, man. Real G's moving signs like lasagna. You didn't get that from nowhere. So that's good. Nah, man, I just made it up right now. I just made it up right now. Uh, yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. It's not like Lil Wayne did it. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad that the Yankees won this game. Won this game 7-3. to three, Swept these guys. Let's go. World Series back on. And um, All right, man. get an off day. A much needed off day. You get a much needed off day. I'm going to frame that Bernie pick. Uh, a much needed off day. You should also frame the one with Gary hitting the home run. That and was you, crazy. You, you, John Boy, and Jake in the back. Yeah. Uh, how about Tyler Wade on third? And then they have us there, like we're all leading off. Like we're like, I'm like, uh, we're like this. We're, we were like his third base coach. We we're like, no way. You know what I mean? When he fell, you know, when he was trying to, you know, he fell, bro, trying to get back to third. Yeah, he did, yo. He fell. What was key? We were basically there. We we helped him get up. Basically, that's a close one. Yeah, man, he stole that. Yeah, he stole that base, man. He, uh, uh, Buck Walter said he's one of the best uh, base stealers in the AL. Yeah, stole two bases, back to back, belly to belly. Good job. Yankees win, seven to three. Bullpen nails, great job, love it. No hitter, not a no hitter. Blooper, disappointing. All right, Vincent Sean performer of the series. Do we have series stats or no? We do. Yeah, I didn't watch the post. Yeah, jo- jo- Joey stats uh, sent it in. Shout no, out to Joey no, stats the series, like, for the whole series of the team. What do you mean? You know what? Like you know how you know Katie Shar sometimes comes up with some good. Yeah. Oh, okay. we do. I mean, I got. I did. I did. I did get, <laughs> well, we did get something. We did get something for. We did get something for a world, Chapman. Uh, Chapman, this is on Talking Yanks. Shout out to Talking Yanks. Uh, follow them on Twitter. Our oldest Chapman, last 25 outings dating back to July 6th. 
23 and two thirds innings pitch, five earned runs, 13 hits, 42 Ks. Wow. 16 walks and a 1.90 ERA, 12 saves, zero blown. Pause. And I saw this, um, somebody posted this on Twitter. Uh, it was uh, on the screen at the stadium. Uh, it says, uh, LeMahieu has recorded an exit velocity of 95 plus miles per hour, 210 times this season, which leads the team and is tied for sixth best in MLB. You know, talking about that's that's actually interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Who's your pin strike strong? Perform. Who goes first, Joe? Uh yes, I've been picking a reliever, but keep got next. <laughs> you got Nick. Keep um, got Nick. Hurry up! Don't you dare! Don't you do that! I had I had my chart up, and now it's not up. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go with um. <laughs> Come on! I'm thinking about two players right now because you know what? I'm gonna give it to Aaron Judge. I'll give it Thank to Aaron you. Judge. Thank you, my guy. Uh, because Aaron Judge, uh, he did hit 400. And he did have four RBI, he did have a three-run homer that put the game away in game two. Um, and it looks like, you know, maybe he's picking it up again. And we need that going into Fenway, all right? Uh, we need him going into Fenway. So, uh, Aaron Judge, which is our performer of the series. And <laughs> Who, you got, Who you got, Keith? <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Keith? Who you got, Keith? Who's that? Oh, damn. Wait, wait, Torres. Good G -G -G. job. That's a good pick. Yo, That's a very Braver. good pick. You like That's playing second base better than shortstop? Yes. Glaber Torres is hitting the ball. Glaber, Glaber Torres is playing the game the way he should be playing, right? No one's saying he's not hustling when he's sliding into home plate. They review it, and it's like, damn, that was a dirty slide, Glaber. Clutch hit. When he got up to bat, I had no faith in him. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm like, I don't oh, wow. think Glaber is going to be clutch here. <laughs> I think the first pitch he turned on <laughs> shut me up. I'm yelling and screaming, let's go, let's go. Glaber Torres, pinstripe strong performer. I don't know how many you got this year, so you got one. Probably got seven, six. Um, I don't know about that. I'll say I'm going to get under on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my pinstripe strong performer to Luis Severino. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm, yes. Uh, bro, man, we we saw the hunger you had when we interviewed you, um, and I could just imagine, you know, with everything that happened, obviously trying to come back and to be able to do it, um, and get the outs, B. To get the job done, you know, to get the job done, not look scared. He looks more brolic out there. Even in the rain, I was a little nervous, you know, especially with that ground there to first and you had to run the first there. And But you got it done, B, like a fucking G, like you never left. Love to see you, Luis. And uh, I can't wait, man. I hope, I Hopefully we got to, uh, we go into a, a deep postseason run. We'll make it to the postseason, go into a, a deep postseason run. And to see you shine, man, under the bright lights, because we know you could do it, B. You're my pinch restaurant performer. Yo. Turn up. Awesome. Facts. All right, good. Now we have the you. You trash, trash son. Nice, Keith. You first, trash. my guy. You be trash at me. Man, when you sweep, it's always tough <laughs> to give someone you trash. When you sweep, it's hard to point at someone and say, you didn't play well enough. Um, honestly, I, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I got one though. Yeah, uh, yeah I, got, I got two probably. I I guess you got to put it on uh, who gave up the most runs. I can't do that either, really. I guess, man. Uh, Corey Kluber, I've hated on you enough on the podcast. Oh, holy shit! You gave up three <laughs> runs. It's fucking 1.30 in the morning. I can't figure out any other you trash player. 
you get you trash. But I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry about it, Corey. It's, it's not good. I'm you, sorry. You're trash. You're not good enough for the 11 million that, that you got this year, bro. Uh, I got no other scapegoats, so you're the guy. Who you got, Chris? Mm, I know one guy that definitely should get it, but I'm going to give it to this guy because I, I guess because we swept, it went kind of under the radar. But I'm going to give it a DJ, man. No! Fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm going to give it a DJ, V. Uh, no RBIs. I mean, he batted under 100. I mean, what can, what can like, he really didn't, uh, he really didn't do much, man. He played all three games. And DJ, we, we do need you. We need you. So it's now another nine games left, my guy. You don't like playing mm -hmm. third. <laughs> <laughs> right now you trash, man. You trash. Bro. My God, I don't Who like playing third. Who you got, Joe? All right, I guess I'll give it to Old Door for not playing. <laughs> Yo, Old Door's never gonna see. <laughs> that guy's yeah. not recovering. Back. Um, let me see who. I guess I'm gonna choose. Should I choose? Choose. <sighs> Bro, I don't. This no one out of the pen. The pen held it down. If you pick the three Everyone starters, the Nestor, pen. Monty, the and whole Kluber, pen did not give up a, a, a run. You can't give anyone in the pen you trash. Just give it. Just pick one of the three starters I like the least. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you who to give it to. Right, give it it to one. I'll give it to DJ Lemayhew again. <laughs> Part two. Damn, <laughs> shitting on DJ. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna give it to. Uh... He's there, man. He's right there for you. All right, fuck it. I'll give it to Brett Gardner. Damn, a uh, Gardy farewell tour. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> um, he didn't do. He only had two hits. You know, you didn't even. You know what? Let me hate on him real quick. Um, no, Yo, he's, been, he's been killing literally before this series. Yeah, well, <laughs> this, this is why this, this award is series based. There's somebody um, that deserves it more than him, though, in my opinion. I don't know who else. I mean, that's it. Void. It is Brett Gardner. He played one game. I mean, the guy doesn't play. Nah, nah, nah. That's not my problem. Today. What? The error, B. The that error. Bro. That's it. That's it. The error. In the game, you get to start. You can't do that. Like, Voight, Voight, come on, bro. Too many people are saying you should be playing every day. You can't be throwing a ball and hitting players in the back with it. Yeah, man, you can't do that. Make the throw. Uh, <laughs> pick to click. I want to get a pick to click already because... Uh, who we got? Wait, who, who? I mean, so Joe picked Joey Gallo because they got the same first name. And, uh, I picked Joey Gallo? Yeah, and I picked Aaron Judge. And uh, by default, I win because Joe picked Judge to be <laughs> the Strike Strong performer. <laughs> so by default, I win. I am the champ. Chris World Order. I am the winner. Chris World Order. Eh, I guess I earned it. That's <laughs> <laughs> how I was and all. Once, man, I uh, love to see. I don't have. I don't have. Um, I don't have a, a swag champ this week. I ain't really see nothing swaggy. We got some well, players. well, the only. Well, I, I'm gonna give it to Jake. Jake had a baseball uniform <laughs> for, for the for a pod. And I, like literally, bro. swag champ. Yeah, I'm gonna give him swag champ. Uh, so who we got picked to click? Well, I am the winner. So um, who they face? The Boston Red, Red Sox. Sox. I'm gonna pick Gary. We need him. We need him to lock in. <laughs> Good pick. <laughs> Except a pick. that Garrett Cole's gonna be pitching in the series. So we won't be seeing. Hey, him. listen, man. Two games. Two games, though. Uh, so yeah. You see right. my. You see my guy for two games. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go with, um, I'm going to go ahead and go with, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, Johnny Mazzania should get Spike Chat for wearing the pinch or T. Hey, you know what? Good call. My bad, Jake. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a Johnny L's, man. It took no L's wearing that T. Never take L's. Never take Johnny L's man. got the L's in his name because he doesn't take it. Um, exactly. exactly. We're going to go with um, a Giancarlo Stanton, who I think is going to have a monster series up in Fenway. 
He's gonna he's gonna break that wall down. <laughs> Jericho. That wall's coming down, B. Yeah, Who you got, Keith? Yeah, sir. Um, I got the guy that the Red Sox wanted, but we got him to block him. Anthony Rizzo, I need you to turn <laughs> up, bro. You see that pesky mm. pole? You like to hit all those foul home runs, wrap a couple around that pole, and uh, show the Red Sox what they missed out on. This is the series, bro. Former Red Sox himself. Former Red Sox, <laughs> yes. We've Former seen Red that pick <laughs> circulating on Twitter. Love it, love it, love it, man. I hate, I hate going on social media and then seeing people with like really good, delicious food displaying it. Bro, it's one thirty-two, man. I'm starving because y'all talking oh, about oh, steaks at the legend that's seats. What I'm saying, bro, I hate that. Le- I'm starving for some Z's. I need to go to All sleep. Right. <laughs> First guys. Off day tomorrow, oh. man. Much need. <laughs> Are you interrupting tomorrow, yourself? Man, much needed off day, man. 20 straight games. It's 20 straight games for Pinstripe Strong. We need an off day for sure. I might do some video gaming tomorrow. I still don't know. <laughs> Pop your merch, guys. Support the pod. Let me know what's good. Share with your friends. Let us know what's good. Leave us some voicemails. 347-389-4898. It's going to be serious up in Fenway. Even though I'm not going. Like I always say, guys, make sure you guys keep your Pinstripe so. Oh! And stay Pinstra Strong. Let's go. Yankees, tell him, baby Noah. Whistling Yankees, the whistling Yankees. Cards, babe. Got the business card. <laughs> go sleep, go sleep. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Subscribe to review the podcast. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good morning, people listening to us in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh. Stone Cold Stunner. All right, y'all. Why you stop the song like that? Good night, everybody.